All right, hello and welcome back to Lands of Lore. Playing as Akshel with Bakata, and we are going to enter into the swamp. Be very we, careful. Yeah, we need to be careful here in the swamp. They have these pits everywhere. Hunter, identify yourselves. We are from Gladstone. If you come in peace, you are welcome. But be warned, not long ago we destroyed a passing band of orcs that invaded our beloved swamp. Excellent. Um, yes, the uh, orcs they're referring to are actually the same orcs, which... Um, hey, all right. Um, the same orcs that... Something smells horrible stole the Ruby of Truth from Roland. And so the Gorka now have this Ruby that uh, our quest sort of uh, began by trying to chase down. We do want to quickly head over to the Fletcher here. <clears throat> Look at my wares. I have only the best for sale. Doesn't I look am like Skomish, he's... boyer of the swamp. He's not much of a bowman himself, but he makes decent weapons, I guess. 250 crown. Goodbye, and come again. We want to sell that crossbow here because we get a good chunk of change for it. Um, I say that he makes good weapons, but I don't actually know if that's true. I never buy any of them because... Other than uh, Valkyrie here, we don't really want any of the other bows in the game. There's one other option, but uh, you don't get that for a little bit, so. Ah, excellent. Good work, Bacata. So, the first thing we're going to do is come up all the way around and head straight for the Chieftain's Compound here. Which, actually, we'll just say hi to this guy first and then. Bunda! Remove your weapons before entering the chieftain's compound. Okay. Uh, Bacata will often fall asleep as a result of the swamp gas. He will also occasionally get a small amount of damage and will occasionally um, oops, uh, get poisoned. Ah, you come to trade with Igorka, no? Uh, uh, no. Look, we have this beautiful red stone we take from orcs. What will you trade me for it? I'll give you this. I do not want that thing, but your eyes <coughs> tell me you desire this red stone. Uh, yes, but... You are powerful warriors, yes? I will make you a deal. If you can destroy the powerful living sticks that have stolen our beloved brass helmet, I will give you the stone. Sounds good. Akshel is so well spoken. Good. Bring the helmet as proof. You can try and fight them. Um, I never do, because uh, frankly, I kind of just like the Gorka. Um, and I like that they're our friends. Um, but it is an option, should you be so inclined. However,. The alternative is to fight these stick creatures who are um, not particularly difficult as enemies. As sticks, they are susceptible to spark, um, which makes them even easier to deal with. But before we do anything else, I want to come straight to this um, pit here. We're going to cast Freeze so that we can step onto space safely. As long as Freeze is active, you can step on any of these um, sinkholes and you'll be okay. And I'm going to take everything we have and put it inside this mouth here and get 60 crowns for each of them. Um, a couple items might be worth more than 60 uh, at the blacksmith or other locations. Um, I usually don't bother holding out um, just because it's not worth my time. If something is worth 
significantly more than 60, such as that crossbow. I'll take care of it there. But for the rest of the game, most of the items that we get, particularly things that we do not want, um, I will take here, cash them in, and eventually we will use this money to buy fireball ones from the witch doctor here in the swamp. almost through everything. At the end of the video, I will probably uh, just off screen grab the rest of the items that we had left behind and anything new that we get in here. And do the same thing, just depositing them in here and getting this uh, quite significant amount of cash. Very good, okay. So let's see what items we can find. Nothing back here. And now we will be a lot more systematic in exploring the remainder of the swamp here. Let's try to save up our magic for casting freeze. Obviously I can always just rest, but I just don't quite feel like it. I believe this just brings us to the other exit to the swamp, which brings us to the other side of... Yeah, so we're going to ignore this for now. Very good. Um, just brings us to the other entrance to Oppenwood. But we don't need to go through there right now. So, uh, nothing here. This, I think... There we go. All right, much worse, but a little better here. I'm gonna hold on to this piece of armor here. Um, <clears throat> every now and then your armor gets burned by some enemy or another, and oftentimes I have, by that point, sold away all of the armor in my inventory, but on this occasion, I'm gonna try to just keep a little bit so that I can avoid having that problem in the future. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Um, my weapon. Oh, now you got it back, all right. Very good. Okay, so we will actually I'll make sure there wasn't anything there. So we'll head this way, close. Oh, no. Hang on one second, I will be right back. All right. Sorry about that. We are back here, pretty much exactly where we left off. So we'll come up this way, take a look down here. There's probably a yeah, stick guy down here that we will take care of. Or not. There we go. And another one. So yes, we are looking for the sacred helmet that one of these uh, individuals will have on them stick people and we have the Gorka's uh, Gorka chieftain's compound down that way we'll head back over to the first part of you know, the map let's head down this way and uh, yes there we go All right, let's open this chest up. And some more items that we'll be getting rid of. Take, uh, take our time a little better this time around. I suppose we can rest up quickly after this. And so this is ultimately where we want to get to, is this area down here. Let's take a quick nap. Very good. Now we'll cast Freeze. And Ooh. move this way. Oops. Right here, we'll kill this guy quickly. 
Oh, and not that quickly. There we go. Anything else down here we want? This is another one of those uh, faces. However, instead of giving you cash, this one just heals you and fills your magic. Um, so we do not want that. It is not worth the item that you could otherwise get cold hard cash for. And this, ultimately, is the enemy we need to kill in order to get this mask. Horseshoes are useless, except for trading them into those faces. And we don't need to go over there yet. Um, that is where the blacksmith is. And we're not going to be purchasing anything there until after we have become heroes of the swamp by returning the helmet to the chief. Okay, so we have one more path here. And these two. Is there anything over this way? No. And down here we have the Witch Doctor, who we will also be seeing after we see the Chief again. Something smells horrible. And one more stick person here. Can't heal yourself quite enough. Level 3 will take care of the poison. Take this staff, and we will unlock this chest. Okay, a Dubal Ring, which I believe just uh, increases your passive health regeneration just by a small amount. It's not extremely helpful, but uh, not a bad item to have either. All right. We're going to grab just those last couple of items that we left on the ground out here. Oops. Which primarily seem to be just a huge number of rocks. Okay, and let's go back to see the chief. This way. Not that way. Yes, 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 Bacada, I understand. We'll deal with it later. Not in the mood. Alright, go back in to see the chief, and let's find our ceremonial helm. Step in. Did you bring me our beloved brass helmet? I did indeed. Oh! Thank you! You have performed a great service for my people. From this day forward, you shall be known as Heroes of the Swamps. Take the ruby that you requested and guard it well. Take also oh, the trident you. as a token of my appreciation. Uh, and the trident mantis, which is a great weapon. Um, <laughs> I think we're going to have a kind of keep using cutter. Um, but we're going to replace Gutter, so we're going to give him a little bit of an increased hit rate with this Saber, but also the increased attack with the Trident there. Kind of have the best of both worlds, maybe. And we'll have Akshel wear the Ruby of Truth. Now I'm going to head down here, and we will trade in these items quickly. Hello, friend. My weapon. And I'm taking it back. There we go. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Pretty good. All right, excellent. So we're gonna keep that. The bow is worth only 60, so no need to go back to the Fletcher. And we're not going to buy anything from the Fletcher because uh, nothing in that shop is particularly worthwhile. We also need to take this regular buckler because I'm going to be purchasing a new one for Picada. There we go. All right, so let's head back this way. 
pass the chieftain. And we will head down to visit two individuals. Um, the first I'm is forced. the um, witch doctor here. Many greetings, friends. Can I help the heroes with any mysteries? Can you decipher riddles? Show me your riddle, and I will identify it for a small fee. Say, 50 crowns? Um, if we are not heroes of the swamp, he'll charge us 100 crowns. Um, and I was actually going to hold off, but yeah, we'll just have him solve all these. I'm not sure about some of this, but the only enemy sweetness that I taste is the nectar from a giant hornet. I will write this on the bottom of your scroll. We can also ask um, Jaren when we get to Wyvil, and we can ask Dawn, and each of them will solve one of the riddles for us. Ah, I'm not sure about some of this. But there are legends of creatures made of stone, yet have blood. I will write this on the bottom of your scroll. But ah, we can just have him solve all three. I'm not sure about some of this, but the mystic reagent called Mother Earth can be obtained in the great city of Wyville. I will write this on the bottom of your scroll. And the other thing we can do is Perhaps click on I him. Can sell you a fireball wand? Say 300 crowns. And he will sell us... Essentially, a limitless number of fireball wands, which we will absolutely take advantage of. I'm going to buy, I don't know, five or seven right now. Um, they really last uh, a long time, because fireball is a very powerful spell, frankly. Um, and... I don't want to kind of Perhaps overfill I'm... our inventory with the fireball wands and end up in a situation where Perhaps I can't I'm... carry things because of it. So we'll later come back. We'll spend the rest of this on some more wands, but for the time well, being, well, heroes. we will stick with that. And now let's quickly go and find the blacksmith. Should be just north of here. Yes. Okay. Okay, good, and we will cast Freeze, jump across here, and, oh, that's right, I forgot about this coin first. Yes, coins in here. Very nice. Swamp heroes, always welcome at my shop. Do you desire new arms? I have plenty, thank you. A thumb god gesture, is he not? Very nice, all right, we're going to get this shield. defense, 20 crowns. Very good. Very cheap for that. And we're gonna get this great sword Perhaps trouble. You want that sword? One hundred fifty crowns. Yes. Um, we also could get this axe, um, but since I'm planning on having Bakata only go with a single saber, we don't actually need the additional weapon. So we'll just get these two. Go if you must, heroes. My shop anchors me here, or I'd be the first to join you. Very nice. And we're actually going to switch these two. So we will have the Greek Sword Trouble, and we will hold on to Mantis until um, we get Paulson in a little bit after uh, the um, Herbish Mines. Now let's hopefully find our way safely out of here. Okay. Good. And all right. So I'm going to end the video here. When we come back, we're going to um, quickly visit the gentleman in the wagon here, and then we will begin our journey through the mines. But until then, see ya.